Well, I'm back out again, and I'm actually back out again with uh, with Ellis, who was in my last video, and it's been a long time since that last video, um, so apologies for that. <laughs> We've had a bit of a gap in our content, but um, Ellis is back up, up here in Scotland again for, for a few days, so we decided to meet up, um, and we're doing a different mountain today. Today we're going to be climbing Liagach, which is a mountain which I've been meaning to climb for some time up here. It's one of the big peaks of Torridon. Um, it's, to be honest, it's one I've been a little bit apprehensive about. So Liagach is famous for its pinnacles and um, we're hoping to get across the pinnacles, either, either across the main scrambling route or via the bypass route. We're not too sure yet, but it's supposed to be quite a hairy walk. Um, so I've been not wanting to do it on my own. There's been no way I've been able to persuade Hannah to come. So as Ellis is up here at the moment, we thought it'd be a great opportunity for the two of us to go and uh, give it a go. Um, if I swing you round and tilt you up a little bit, I think these are the pinnacles up behind us. So there is a little bit of cloud around, but at the moment they're kind of half clear, so we'll see what it's like when we get up there. Um, but basically we've got two Munros to do today. The first one is Spidi and Akori Lei, um, and that's going to be our first peak. Um, so anyway, really looking forward to it. Um, it's summer, but it's cloudy. There's a little bit of a breeze. So if this cloud lifts up a little bit, hopefully we'll be set for a great day today. I think we're probably just about halfway up now, um, or maybe maybe not quite halfway up to be honest, but uh, if I tell myself we're halfway up, it makes me feel a little bit better. Um, I'm definitely feeling the effects of not having been out much over the past couple of months, so um, yeah, I've been suffering a little bit with a few kind of health issues and things over the last few weeks, so I'm just feeling quite out of shape at the moment. So I thought, well, why not try and get yourself back into the... the the exercise regime by hiking up one of the most challenging mountains here in Torreton. <laughs> um, so we're taking it a little bit slow, I'm probably slowing Ellis down a little bit, he's just up there behind me. Um, but yeah, to be honest, it's still looking very claggy up the top there. There's still quite a lot of cloud hanging up on the ridge. I think the pinnacles themselves are looking uh, fairly clear, but I think the peaks are certainly in cloud. But there's a couple of bits of blue sky opening up every now and again in the higher cloud layers. So. I'm still in my ever optimistic way, just trying to keep positive and thinking, oh, maybe it will break up a little bit this afternoon um, as the day wears on, and hopefully we'll get a couple of views once we get up the top. Well, I think we're making making pretty good progress, really. Uh, probably got another 400 meters or so to go until until we're up at the top. Um, uh, the top of Liagach itself still looks like it might just be a little bit of a uh, bit of clag, but all the mountains around are clear. And I'm hoping that means Liagach will be clear a bit later as well. But um, oh, it's just stunning views here. If I just spin you around a second, so we're looking south here. We've got all of the, the mountains there of the Kulin Forest, um, the Kowloon Forest. And then looking south towards Glen Shield beyond. And uh, it's just. It really is gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. So just stopped so I can get my breath back. I think Ellis is fine because me that needs to get his breath back. Um, but um, yeah, then we'll keep going up this quarry. We've made it up onto the main ridge of Liga and it's just breathtaking. It's gorgeous here. We've got some wonderful views up north. Um, this is actually Ben A behind me. Um, and then the sweeping round up towards Gerloch there. And then we've got nice views over to um, Ben Jerag and 
You can see the Horns of Allegan over there in the distance. And the cloud level is just kissing the tops of some of these higher mountains. So um, the top of the first uh, Munro, which we'll be climbing, which is uh, Spidia and Okoye Lay, is just in the bottom of the cloud at the moment. But you can kind of see it, so I think we'll make our way up there in a moment. And um, if we don't have views from right at the top, we'll certainly have views just before the top. Um, but then all the way down to the south as well, this, this bit behind me here, this little peak here, this is kind of the, um, the far eastern end of Liege. I don't think we're going to bother going all the way up to the end there, uh, try and conserve our energy for the rest of the walk, because if you look the other way, you can see we've got a hell of a lot of ascent still even just in the ridge walk, and this is just the first one where we've got a second one beyond it, so it's going to be a strenuous day but oh, it's just beautiful, this mountain is gorgeous you can just see these layers of the sandstone creating these steps in the mountain and it's what makes it look so impressive from down at the bottom and uh, it's just as impressive from the top as well but just looking at these vistas round to the south over the, the Cowland Forest there Oh, it's just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Um, I might actually get the camera out whilst I'm stopped here and take a few, probably just handheld shots. But it's such a, such a beautiful place. So we've made it up to our first Munro of the day. This is Spidia and Akori Lay. And uh, the views up here are just something else. They really are. Uh, we've got a view over to the second Munro, which we'll be climbing. And in between us and there, we can also see the pinnacles, which are the rather risky looking uh, sort of row of, uh, row of peaks that we've got to cross before we can get up to that second peak. So it's looking quite daunting, but I'm looking forward to giving it a go, I think. So uh, yeah, it's just amazing up here. We've got, when we started to come up, this peak itself was in cloud. So as we've been climbing, it's it's cleared and it's lifted. And there's actually a few sort of brighter spots of, of sun poking through, but there's also a few sort of lower wisps of cloud coming up through the, the glens as well. So absolutely stunning conditions. Um, and again, I might take the camera out and uh, see if I can get a few shots whilst we're here. Well, we're here now, just at the start of what's called the Pinnacles of Liege. Um This is where we're going to have to make the decision, do we take the bypass path or do we scramble over the top of the Pinnacles themselves? 
Um, actually, Ellis is just on his way up there just to sort of scout out a little bit, because also there could be some good opportunities to actually take photographs of the pinnacles along here as well. So, yeah, um, I'm not going to lie, slightly, slightly nervous. Um, I don't know how much of a chance I'll have to do to do much filming once I'm on them. So, um, yeah, we'll see how we get on. Well, we made it past the pinnacles. Um, we did actually try to go over the pinnacles themselves at first, and we made it over maybe the first one, and then we, we decided to take the bypass path, path, but the bypass path itself, to be honest, was pretty sketchy in places, but it was okay. It, was, it wasn't too bad. I was glad it wasn't raining today or windy, because that would have made it more of a challenge. Um, but we still had to take care. There were definitely a few exposed areas along that path where if you put a foot wrong um, it would have ended badly. Um, but yeah, I didn't manage to film anything on this camera but I got a few shots on the phone so hopefully uh, those will come out okay. And now, uh, touch wood, it's sort of relatively straightforward heading up to our second Munro. Um, and uh, yeah, we're going to head up there. The only thing we're slightly worried about is, as you can probably see behind me, the uh, summit of Spidia and Akori Lay is now well and truly in, in clag, and the clag might be moving in a bit, so I don't know. I don't know whether it's going to clear, but um, we'll see how we get on anyway. We'll make it up to the second Munro and then uh, decide what we're going to do with regards to photography, I think. Well, we made it up to the second Munro of the day, which is Malchen Rahain. Um, and as you can see, the, the clag has really set in up on this, this summit. So we've actually been sat here a little while now. We, we thought we'd give it a bit of time to see if it will clear. It only seems to be getting thicker, so I suspect we're probably not going to get any views from this summit now. I'm slightly kicking myself because we did get some really nice views just a bit further down. There are a few gaps in the cloud and uh, I, my camera was buried in the bag so I, I knew that by the time I got the camera out of the bag it, it would have just gone and that's the trouble with, with that, this kind of mountain photography you, you really do need to have that camera accessible um, but when I was doing those pinnacles I, I wanted to have it well in the bag so I've normally got mine buried in the bottom of a bag but never mind um, probably I think we're hoping that as we start to head back down again we might just get a get a few kind of glimpses of well, hopefully it might just clear a little bit as we, as, we, as we go a bit lower. But we'll see. Um, either way, even if we don't get any more photography done today, it's been an amazing hike and a, such a sense of achievement, I think, as well, just to, to bag these two Munros.
Well, we made our way back off uh, the summit of that second Munro and we're now heading back down uh, towards where the car's parked. Um, so I think we're probably going to call it a day here. We've got quite a long descent um, and we're now just down below where the, where the cloud cover is. So we've got some beautiful views, but I don't think we're going to get much light. It's actually really similar conditions to the last time Ellis and I, and I were out together. So uh, we didn't have any light then. I don't think we'll be getting any more this evening. But either way, there's still some stunning views over towards the, uh, that's uh, Milkan Jerag. Uh, apologies for my, my pronunciation. Um, and uh, yeah, the mountains of, uh, of the Kowloon Forest over there behind me. Absolutely stunning views. It's a beautiful place to go. Um, I've got a few videos from there as well, actually. But um, it's been an amazing day out, really enjoyed it. And to have climbed two Munros as well, uh, yeah, it's another it's another box ticked, I think. Um, and it's been great to spend time with Ellis. Um, for those of you who didn't go over to Ellis's video the last time I did a video of him, please do go over to his channel now. Go and check out his video. I'll leave a link at the end of this video and also in the description below as well. But definitely go and visit his his channel. He is a an amazing photographer, um, and I think he's he's probably got some better photos actually from this trip than than I have. Um, but uh, yeah, absolutely amazing day out and. Um, We'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.